Previously, on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. I impossible Everything is sold in stores! Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse! Oh! <laughs> Phoenix! <laughs> oh? Excuse is not on sale today! <laughs> guys, this is Bunzi, and welcome back to another Let's Play of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So, where we last left off, we had our first trial of this, of the second chapter, episode two. And this is the first time that we face off against Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth. So I guess he's like the actual, like, well, I wouldn't say villain, although he did do sort of villainous stuff in the last episode. I'll explain later. I, I don't know if he's a villain. He's probably just like, you know, an antagonist or, or a rival, I guess. Like, you know, like, I was about to say Seto Kaiba, but no, he was, he did some pretty, pretty harsh shit in Yu-Gi-Oh! too. So I don't know. He's my rival for this game. So there's no more, <laughs> there's no more pain, even though I'm going to miss his objections. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that so much, but hopefully we see him again. So anyway, we cro we were able to cross-examine April May, and we find out, like, she's shady as fuck, as we already knew, and we find out that she, she already knew that the thinker that we had in our possession was a clock. How did she know that? Of course, she she was wiretapping the phone. We find out later, we cross-examine the bellboy, and we find out from him that there's actually another dude in her apartment bedroom, but when she ordered her room service at the time of the murder, he wasn't there. And Edgeworth, being shady as fuck, like, he told the bellboy not to include that information, not to mention that there was a completely other human in, in, uh, April May's room. Also, cause we, we learned earlier in the episode before the last episode that Edgeworth is known, well, it hasn't been proven, but there's, talks going around that Edgeworth actually like forges evidence and does all this extra shady shit in order to get his con you know his um his his guilty his guilty verdicts so we have an autopsy from Detective Gumshoe that says that Mia died instantaneously. But right as we present that to the court, Edge was like, no, 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 no. I got a new autopsy this morning that said that Mia actually didn't die instantaneously, and she actually had enough time to write Maya with her blood. And I'm like, come on, dude. Are you, are you serious? So, oh, oh my god. So, yeah. Miles, he's shady, but I still like him. He's cute, though. <laughs> but, yeah, so we, we realized that, you know, April, May, She's guilty of wiretapping, and now we're gonna try and figure out who this purple guy is, because he's the guy who did it. We need to find out where he is, what he's doing, why he did this. Hopefully, hopefully we can get all this done in this episode. So let's get started, guys. I am excited. September 7th, 311 p.m., Detention Center Visitor's Room. Ugh. Well, hello, this, this girl. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not, you stinky lawyer. I hope you die. <laughs> Have you come to laugh? Yeah, laugh the fallen Miss May. No, not really. Yes. <laughs> There's something I wanted to ask you. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? <laughs> Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. Look, he's barely moving because of you. He's, he's just huddled up in that corner. It's like he's not even there. <laughs> so, what is it you wish to ask of me then? Hmm? For starters, how did you get so, <laughs> get to be so totally whacked? <laughs> What's with this peppy music? Huh. 
that man. The purple guy. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose! Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. The wiretap. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Aww, oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so... cold. So criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school. Hmm? Creep. <laughs> this woman is impossible to talk to. Your attitude, seriously. Say, why are you so... angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it! Bottom-feeding, scum-sucking lawyer! <laughs> but bottom I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers? Or just against me? Okay, <laughs> so she's not gonna talk to me. Um... He, he mentioned a uh, showing or something. Maybe I have to come back with something. I don't. I don't think any of this is gonna make her talk to me. Um, maybe this. Could could you elaborate on this? Hey, guess what? Actually, I am um, really hate your guts. It's a cute loss because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks. I noticed. <laughs> okay, she she doesn't want to talk. Um. Back to the office? September 7, Fanco Law Office. Looks like forensics, forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe is nowhere in sight. Police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. I suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. Let's see. Mia's favorite potted plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. The sky is blue, and so am I. There's that hotel, right across the way. Oh, Phoenix. An old movie poster. Apparently this was the first movie that Mia cried when she saw. <laughs> I'll have to check it out one of these days. Aww. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean as always. The only thing that's missing is... Mia. Aww. So does Phoenix- did Phoenix like her, or was it more of just like a platonic thing? I'm fine with either or. I'm just- I feel sad for Phoenix. He lost a- if anything, he lost a friend. A, you know, a co-worker. Like, well, that's gotta hurt. Mm. You couldn't cram more legal books in here, even if you wanted to. All the cases that the chief worked on are filed here. Wow, all that? Hmm. Are some of the files missing? Nah, I'm imagining things. No, you wouldn't have said that. Something's missing in here. Hmm. Something's up. Alright. Gatewater Hotel? September 7, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your effort today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel, as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for this, for this room, of course. It'll be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa, Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. <laughs> Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? <laughs> so, you are on a guess. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Okay. What do you know about Miss May? About Miss May? Oh, huh? Said not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She do it, I said. <laughs> do what? 
starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. Yes, yeah, seriously. Maybe he's the purple guy. Maybe he dyes his hair purple and and convicts murders. <laughs> smashes <laughs> smashes women upside the head. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of... danger. <laughs> Here we are, in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. Is he gonna come back and kill someone? Please let that happen. I want that so much. If you had a photo of the man, I'd quite... I'm quite sure I could identify him. Photo? Hmm. Photo? A hotel. Could you tell me more about this hotel? Absolutely! And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, Ita. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. <laughs> okay, um... I guess we're done here. I already investigated this room. Oh, his painting's missing! September 7, Grossberg Law Office. Huh, looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason? Where'd your painting go? Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on the wall? Yeah. Yeah, it was a painting of, uh... Was he a fisherman? Wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. <laughs> Ooh. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident Exhibit A, DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. Exhibit A. Hmm. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. <laughs> Phoenix, you're just stealing stuff? <laughs> What about the other one? A photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took? Oh, I can't have both? Wait, let's swap. I think I'll swap them. This is the purple guy! Okay, okay. Um, uh, uh, court record, court record. On the back, where is DL6 incident, exhibit B are written in pencil. What's the DL6 incident? Is that the... Is that, um... What Maya was talking about? The the case that her mom tried to help the police solve? Oh, is this, um... Is this lady their mom, then? Hmm, maybe. It sucks I can't have both, but I obviously need this one. Okay. Let's move out. Back over here. You! You you, you know the purple guy! Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. <laughs> oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No. No, I don't. <laughs> oh my god. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that it's him? An affidavit? This guy's way too excited about this. Uh, sure, why not? Have him write it. Yes! I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir! From henceforth, I'll be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit! Just hurry up and write it, please. 
Describes the man who stayed with Miss May at the hotel on the night of the murder. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Alright, let's get... Go back here... You again?! Can't you take a hint and stay gone?! Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me! <laughs> oh, so it's my fault now?! <laughs> you don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart! That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Oh my god, what would that look like? Ugh. So, so is that not hair gel? Is, is Phoenix's hair just like that? Well, every every true anime protagonist needs to have a crazy hairstyle. <laughs> is there anything else to talk about? The man. About the man who stayed with you in the hotel room. Can you tell me anything about him? Where is he? I'm not telling. Look, he's being accused of murder. I don't think you want to be protecting him. Hmm, would he have sold out the late Miss Faye to the cops? No. <laughs> See? Damn it! <laughs> hmm, maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Alright, now we show her. Have a look at this. Look, I said several times I'm not telling you- Oh! Where did you? Aha! A reaction! This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No! No, that's not right! Nice try, Miss Cooperative. D do you have proof that it was him? Hmm? Y yeah Proof! Show me proof! Uh, the... there it is. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw, such as the man you checked in with. Who is most definitely this guy. Ugh! Now I'm getting somewhere. Ease her fears. Push her hard. No, fuck her! Push her! <laughs> this is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed that's an act. <laughs> if you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. <sighs> oh, fine, I'll talk. Y you win, lawyer. Yes. Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fist in the air, you dumbass? <laughs> now, tell me about the man you were with. That man? He's my boss! Red White, the president of the information gathering conglomerate Blue Corps. Oh, so he's the guy from the. from. Um, their mom's case. Red, white, a blue <laughs> Oh my god, I love these names. Okay, we got a name. Okay. Red, white, information gathering. Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. So, this is the man that was with you the night of the murder? I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Core is located? Mr. Red White at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Bellboy's affidavit discarded. He has his painting! What's with the surreal decor? Welcome! Please fin furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Oh, it's him. 
Your name? What's your name, boy? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. <laughs> Perhaps I have intimidated you of my gigantesque, gigantesque vocabulary? What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corps. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the world the challenge. What a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yikes, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. First let me examine. That's the painting! Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridiculosity! I have no interest in anything but originals. That right there is a bona fide original, worth five million for sure. Hmm. Oh, why does he have Grossberg's painting? Oh, didn't mean to click on that. Ew, what's with his chair? I just noticed that! That's- Ugh! Got these muscular booty cheeks? <laughs> I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk? My my, this is- Quite the thing! It is modeled on my body, see? Oh, gross! Well, does it sleek round at your not inspire you? Are you hitting on me, sir? <laughs> An impressive lineup of trophies. Judges special runner-up. Best participation. Judges cooperation award. Special Good Try Prize? <laughs> hmm. The words judges and special kind of stand out. Oh, he's one of the he's one of those kids. A statue of a man holding up the world. The blue core sign certainly stands out enough. The model for the man is, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too. Butacious for you to appreciate, correct? I think it's a little too butacious for just about anyone to appreciate. Oh my god, this guy. This is the top floor of a 20 story building. The view is quite presidential. Is that everything? Uh. Yep, looks like it. Okay. What is up with you? Miss May is an employee of Blue Corps, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she had done. What she had done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in our job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Night of the murder. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. <laughs> what? How does that work? <laughs> My motto is, don't worry, be happy. That is not your motto. <laughs> Still Mr. Phoenix, right? The hotel be oh, oh wait, sorry. The hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. <laughs> Raises a good question, actually. 
Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Ho <laughs> ho ho! The police? The courts? To me, they're mere toys. Playthings for my amusement. Oh, he's. Oh, this is an information center. Is he. He's got dirt on everybody. Is that it? He's blackmailing everyone? Blue Core. What kind of company is Blue Core anyway? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Sell information? In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Uh, in case you were wondering, Blue Core was named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Core, as founder and CEO, named it so. <laughs> Even the game's like, Red White of Blue Core, you get it? You get it, you dumb kid? You get it? <laughs> <laughs> and why you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Even though you wear a pink suit and you got purple hair. I mean, I guess he's got the blue dots on his red tie. I guess that's it. What an outfit! This guy is strange. Fantabulistic, is it not? That painting. Uh. There's something that's been bothering me? Yes? What might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. When did you get it? I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Uh, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again. Who are you? Um, huh? Uh, a lawyer? <laughs> no, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch, zippo, nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. <laughs> what? What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. Wh what? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grodeburgers, I presume? Mr. Grossberg. Yes. Then you must ask him. Why is it that his painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now. Skedaddle. There's nothing more to discuss, boy. Ooh, this guy. Ooh, this guy. So he's got everyone in his pocket. He's got... He's got... He said the police, the courts. So that means the judge? He's got something on the judge? What'd the judge do? He seems like a cool guy. He... I guess he has something on Edgeworth? He has something on the police force? Whoever runs the police force? This guy's insanely powerful! He's only the second boss of the game? This guy's insane! Alright, is, is Grossberg back? Huh? I 
don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem! What was the voice I did for him? Crap, I forgot. <laughs> Jumping Jehoshaphats! <laughs> oh, you! What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Oh, I remember now. Hmm? I'm not senile yet! That, 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 that's the voice. <laughs> I was just thinking about this whole mess. <laughs> Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Today's trial. So, you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. Couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me and your sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. But you refuse. I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Wright? No, no, I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. So I guess that's what he was afraid of. He knew that uh, Red, Red White had something to do with it. So he, he's not scared of Edgeworth. He's scared of him. And uh, I guess Red White came and took his painting <laughs> for some reason. But... I, I guess he's in his pocket, just like everyone else. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. Mr. White. So I paid Blue Core a visit. Oh! Oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg. I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh? What is it? Well, out with it, my boy! You see, it's just... That big painting, that photo of Mr. White's. The painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir? Uh, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corps. Red White's office. So, you notice. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. He's giving you information, he's blackmailing you. You're lovers! <laughs> it's not something I can claim to understand. But you and Mr. White are lovers, aren't you? You kissed! What? What? My boy! <laughs> you sent that painting to him as a sign! A sign of undying love! My boy, please! You're letting your fancies run away with you! <laughs> Where do you get these bizarre ideas? I... I don't understand. How could you... How you could... That's because I'm not! But... But, but not! Don't be ridiculous! <laughs> <laughs> Enough. I'll swallow my pride and tell you all. I knew it. They were lovers. <laughs> no, we are not lovers. <laughs> Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corps is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs! As you suspected, I cannot stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting Red White would be as nigh, be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why not? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, the police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and 
therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weights of many years. And the actual weight from all those Big Macs you're clearly eating. <laughs> What's the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. Oh, this is! This is uh, Maya's, Maya and uh, Mia's mom. Okay, so that was her in that other photo. A medium? Her name was Misty Faye. Faye. Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police, and she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was a top was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know that they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I I told This is all your fault! <laughs> you did this! Why? You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Wow, Grossberg. <laughs> As if I couldn't like you any less. <laughs> it's funny. Looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. Yeah, there's something about these uh, books over here. All the cases the Chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Let's see if there's a record in this file that catches my eye! <laughs> Phoenix! A, B, C... Misty Fay. That's me and Maya's mother. Hmm. Should I take a look? Read it! I have tarnished the Fay name. Leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm. The record stops there. So Mia knew Grossberg. Yeah, didn't he say that Mia was his apprentice? I think that's what he said. So yeah, they, they obviously they know each other. Let's see, J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this. Yeah, can't hurt to look. Uh, well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part's here at the end in S. Suicide? Ew. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, 
policeman. There's writing on most of these in pencil. White? This is Mia's hand. Oh, no! So all the people... Well, not all of them, because obviously some are still alive. But most of the people that White is blackmailing, they couldn't take it anymore. And they committed suicide. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Let's find the most disturbing one. Article about a politician's suicide. The word white is written in pencil at the top. Is there more? Yeah, I didn't I didn't check the final one yet. T U I know, W. White. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Oh. So that's okay, so some of her stuff's missing. So I guess when he came in after he killed her, he rummaged through her stuff, stole some of the documents, and then ran off. As he went out, Maya went in, and then we went in shortly after Maya, and that's how this whole mess went down. That's what I'm thinking happened. Okay. Uh, where do we go now? Do we go back to Blue Core? Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparence. Miss May. I think we're passing the talk about April May. Gotta put this guy on the spot and quick. Hmm? What's the matter? You seem distressed. Eh, just good to the blackmail. There's no point asking someone this crooked a straight quest. Okay, never mind. I need some evidence I can use as ammo. What's wrong? Is something stuck to my face? Why, well, yes, there's my eyes and my nose and my mouth. But of course, I jest. You need not restrain your mirth, my friend. Is it okay to indulge in my cosmopolitan sense of humor? I will not think less of you. Hey, okay, what is this? This guy's a pro at pulling the wool over people's eyes. I've got to put him on the spot, quick. Stop that! Your hot gaze is giving me goosebumps. Am I supposed to give him something? What, the suicide? This is the only clue that Mia left me. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me, how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You blackmailed him. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him, either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong. What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary's office, hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. W wait a second, Mr. White. You're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. Wright. Excuse me? 
what I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be? Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it! Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. What? Of course, sir. One moment, please. White, that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello? Chief Prosecutor? I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I, I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quiet, too. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The Executioner, the Hatchet Man, the Liquidator, the Killer Man. What? Mr. White, this isn't one in, uh, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor. I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer said of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they, that they make even you look competent. I... I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir! Ah! Butts! Harry Butts! No! <laughs> right, actually, Phoenix Wright, and my friend's name is Larry. Alright! Sorry, pal! Butts was that murderer, right? Oh god, Gumshoe, why? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. What? what? <laughs> Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Are you kidding me? What? September 8th, 3.37 p.m. Detention Center Visitor's Room. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's gonna set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on it too, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right! Mr. Wright! Oh, Maya! Great, they let you out of detention. <laughs> Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. <laughs> now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean... you... I explained what had happened to Maya. I... I don't believe it! How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well, defend me in court, cheer me on in a court, help me break out of here. <laughs> um, I, 
She can't defend me. Um, obviously I can't leave. I guess just cheer me on, Maya. That's... That's all we can do. Well, you can cheer for me in court. Cheer for you? You mean, like a cheerleader? Huh? Um, yeah, like that. Alright, leave it to me! Huh? I'd better go get a uniform and some pom-poms! <laughs> How cute! I love Maya! Did she leave? <laughs> Don't worry, Phoenix! I'm gonna cheer so hard! <laughs> what? Wait! <laughs> oh, she came back. What? 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 I I'm kidding. It, it was a joke. No way! No, really, I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But- but I can't just sit here and do nothing! I gotta give that man a piece of my mind! Just a piece? Okay. Then... Come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Times may change, but with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a day. Most of the guilty verdicts? What? How does that work? So every trial has to be solved in three days. Is, is this like a Japan thing? Is, is that real or is that just a part of this game? How can you get anything done in three days? And most of it is a guilty verdict, meaning a bunch of innocent people are probably prosecuted. Right? I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. The true culprit appearing as a star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. To be continued. All right, guys, that will have, that's about it for this episode, and the next episode, we're going back to the trial. Oh my god, we learned so much in this episode. Red White is a bastard, and Grossberg is just a little, is just a little weasel, well, a fat weasel. Oh my god, this is all his fault. So, so Red, like, promised him, like, hey, if you, uh... If you tell me something about this incident, I'll give you all this money. That's probably why his office is so swagged out like that. With his freaking, <laughs> with his freaking golden lighter and his giant, and his giant paintings and all his extra shit. That's the only reason. He's not a good lawyer. That's just blood money. Oh my god. And now we're, and now we gotta defend ourselves because this corrupt, how is this the second trial? This seems like some endgame type shit. So what are the next, what are the next people going to be? This is, this is insane. Cause, cause this guy's got politicians, the courts, the freaking police commissioner. He's got dirt on everybody, probably even Edgeworth. He's got dirt on everybody. Man, how, what is, what is going to happen? All right, guys. Well, if you like this episode, Please leave a like and a favorite. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Have a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. Know that you are loved. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen next.